Alive! <laughs> Don't do that. I'm Maddie Matheson. Welcome to Cooking Something today. We are going to be making Chiapino. Chiapino? Chiapino. Have you ever been to San Francisco? We love the bay. Guess what the bay is? It's on a bay. That means osh. Guess what's in the osh? Seafood, shellfish, beautiful things. But guess what? We're in in Nashville, and I ain't got none of that. So it's really tough to get actually really great fresh sheaf, sheaf, shiffer. It's tough to get seafood and shellfish. So like, why don't we just get, take what we can get from the supermarket, and we're gonna make a chiapino. We got some mussels, we got some little necks, we got some uh, pretty regular shrimps. Happen to find one nice piece of cod. We have some scallops, they look like they were kind of frozen, maybe. I, I could be wrong, but that's the thing. We got what we got. We're making a seafood stew. Chiapino. Chiapino? Chiapino. Manscaped, thanks for sponsoring Cooking Something. Guess what? Summer's coming. It's heating up. As the heat gets heated, the body needs to cool down. A simple way to cool down, shave your beans. You don't need that old hairy muff flapping around under there on the old bean bag. No way. You know, I, 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 was, I, was, I was trying to trim my nuts the other day and I was just like, huh, I can't do that. I had like a little scissor thing and then I was just like, oh yeah, Manscaped. I'll just grab this perfectly elevated shaving system and I'll be able to clean my bits up real nice. The lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, it's a ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. It's 7,000 RPM. That's like 16 dirt bikes ripping across your nuts as smooth as ice on ice. It's got 400,000 LED spotlight. That's also waterproof. Take that, chuck it in the ocean. No problem, but make sure you get it out of the ocean. Don't let it. Manscape even throw in two free gifts. Manscape boxers and the shed travel bag. Get 20% off free shipping with the code MADDIE2022 at manscaped.com. This is the summer to turn your package into the full package with Manscaped. I am gonna get my pot ready here. We're gonna go medium heat and we're gonna dice up a fennel. I'm just gonna kind of cut my fennel like I would an onion. Kind of slice it up and we're gonna dice it up. I want a fair amount of olive oil in here, so I'm gonna put in enough just to cover the entire base of the pot. Throw in the fennel, sizzle, sizzle. One onion, cut it up in there. We got some peps. I just got some little sweet peppers here, red and orange. I'm just gonna slice these up. That's plenty. And then I'm just gonna run my knife over it. Yes. A little bit of color in there. Let's give this a little bit of a stir here. Oh yeah. We wanna cook all this down. We're making stew, smash up the garlic, throw it in there. I'm throwing in, you know, a couple clovies. And we're just sweating our veg, sweating out that sofrito. The thing that's funny, nobody likes cheese with seafood, but a tomato seafood thing with like some cheesy garlic bread maybe, could be kind of fire. I'm not gonna lie. So I think I might make some, do we have cheese? We got cheese. I'm gonna make some cheesy garlic bread. Is it? I don't want it caramelize, but I want it to be a little caramelized, you know? So you just want to kind of cook it down, a little caramelization. Like, look at that. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? That steam. Mm. We're just going to cook this out. We got some uh, fennel seed. We're going to give them a little, little wake up, a little ground. Woo! That looks good. I'm going to put Old Bay into it because I really like Old Bay. I like some celery. It's like celery salt. We got some paprika, we got a little bit of cayenne, and some dried chili flakes as well. Beautiful fennel seed, one full tablespoon of that in there. Let's give this a stir. Stir, 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 stir. Oh yeah. Now, hit this with a little bit of white wine, maybe like a half an inch above the vegetables. Then I'm gonna crack open some Pernod, okay? Where's that one lighter? We lose it, we lost it. <laughs> Yow! There you go. You want to burn off the Pernod. There is a lot of alcohol in that, so you do want to burn that off, okay? So be careful when you're doing that in your house. Let's put up a warning. Whenever we're flambéing, we're flambéing here. We just get left with all that flavor. A little sip of my coffee. Mmm. Oh, incredible. Now, I'm gonna add like a cup of tomato puree. Two cups of fish stock. Cracked pep. We're gonna season with a little more salt. 
And now what I want to do is let this just kind of come together and cook for about 30 minutes just by itself. Let that fish stock, that white wine, that Pernod, all of the flavors come throughout and kind of build this up. While this develops a lot of flavor, I'm gonna put the lid on here. I'm gonna turn it down nice and low and let just these flavors kind of go into the Dutch oven. I'm gonna clean up real quick. I'll see you back here soon. Thanks to Manscaped, I'm Maddie Matheson. This is Cooking Something. So I'm trying to think of like, I was like, I want to make a grilled cheese. And I was like, I'm going to make a garlic bread. And then I'm like, I don't know. And guess what? I'm going to make a grilled cheese. I got some Monterey Jack cheese in the fridge. I got a bun. I got some butter. I'm going to make a grilled cheese, OK? So the first thing I want to do, though, throw that out. And now we're going to cut this in half. Boom, boom, perfect. You can just take butter. Ah and melt it in the pan. And we'll just put the bread in the pan like this, okay? Let's just not try to, we're not building rocket ships. And as we make, once we get the grilled cheese in the pan, guess what? Look at this. Ooh, see this is smelling good. We're smelling the chia pe look at this. Ooh. Really slow simmer, coming around. Oh yeah. We got the butter, look at this. We got some grilled cheese in here. We're gonna take some Monterey Jack cheese. We're gonna put a lot on, I guess. See, I got my butters, my butters on there, you know? We're just gonna let that sit there. So let's take the cod. The cod is gonna take the most amount of time. Beautiful pieces of cod here. We're gonna drop that in. See you later, see you later, see you later. You don't want your stew boiling. Okay, you just want it gently cooking. Then the things that are gonna also take the longest, the clams. So we're gonna drop our little necks in. The mussels take a couple seconds, so don't worry about the mussels. They're gonna take at least like five to eight minutes to get to a good place. Two more minutes, I'm gonna drop the scallops in there. Also, check this out. So when you got these like beautiful scallops, there's a little muscle on top. This little connective muscle, and you just wanna peel it off. And this gets really tough, and then you just have a perfect scallop. There you go, you got all your scallops. So let's check. We got a little grilled cheese here. We're getting the crispy cheese over here. Clams are opening up. Let's add the scallops. By the time you make a grilled cheese, you can kind of have all your seafood and shellfish cooked. You don't want it really cooked that long, okay? Once again, just give it a light little stir. You don't want to really shake it up too much at this point. With this, uh, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? A grilled cheese with Chiopino? Strong, real strong, okay? Oh yeah. We're gonna drop, drop our mussels in. And the last thing that we're gonna put in there is our shrimps. These don't take that long. Let's just take some parsley, give this a little rough chop. I think that gives a little white pot sweat. Okay, here we go. Nice, easy, quick grilled cheese. That's pretty good. A little Monterey Jack. Ooh. Nice little grilled cheese there. Oof, this looks good. We're gonna put the lid on for one minute, okay? A little seafood stew, a little chia pino, a little kiss to the bay. We love the bay. You know, what's not to love? And we're gonna have a beautiful little seafood stew. We got scallops, shrimps. Mussels, clams, cod, a little pernod, white wine, fish stock, fennel, fennel seed, cayenne, dried chilies, little pet pets, salt and pepper. That's it. Let's check it out. Are we here? Oof. Oh, look at this. Wow. And now we're just going to try to go in and see where we're at. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Oof. A little bit of lemon juice, fresh cracked pap, a little glug of olive oil, then a little bit of parsley. Boom. Okay. See, this is, I'm very excited right now. We got the chio peen. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Me likey. Yo. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. A little grilled cheese. The chia peanut fire. You kidding me right now? 
Mm. Oh yeah. Oh mama. Oh mama. A little scallop? Mm. Mm. The butter. This is so good. We did our job, okay? Another one. This is all year, baby. This is whenever the fish is coming in, baby. From Italy to San Francisco. From me to you. Chiopino. Grilled cheese, really iconic. It works. Buongiorno, my man Madison is cooking something. Make this or don't. Let me know in the comments what you want me to cook next, okay? Just keep flooding it. Ideas, ideas, ideas. I see them, I read them. Let's go. Chiopino, baby. I love you. Shout out to Manscaped. Shave your beans, all right? Later. Or don't shave your beans, but shave your beans, okay? Let's go. I should make a grilled cheese to go with this. Holy I'm just thinking out loud, okay?